Okay, so the other day I was tearing apart this tiller. Now, I, I own this tiller. This is my tiller, and I want to sell it. But I need to fix it up a little bit, so I was wanting to change out the carburetor and the ignition coil. Well, got into it and realized there was a significant oil leak at the valve cover right here. So I went ahead and started ordering some parts for this. And I got the valve cover and a little wire for the carburetor here. That was $13. So now I got to change out the valve cover, put on the new carburetor, reassemble the whole thing. Now I will admit this is going to be a challenge. This is a, an older motor, Briggs & Stratton motor. And these older motors were just harder to, to assemble. They, they put more stuff on it back then to get it to operate. Nowadays, it's just the components are more integrated. So it's going to be a challenge, and it's not really going to be a challenge to put it back together. I got a video on how to put it back together. The challenge is going to be trying to record because I'm going to have to make sure, okay, is this bolt go here? Is this bolt go there? So trying to record that without having a bunch of mistakes in the video. So it may be that I have to assemble it off camera, take it back apart, and then reassemble it so I can do it on camera. Replace this valve cover. I'm going to take off this little hose boot without ripping it, hopefully, because I need to put it on the new one. Okay, I got it on there. Had me worried because it was slightly different configuration, so I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, but I'm not sure what that is. Okay, I'm going to attempt to put the gas tank back on, but there's a spring, and it's going, to be, it's going to be hard for me to show you what I'm doing, but there is a spring right here, and see, it doesn't even want to stay on, so it's going to be really difficult, and that spring has to go onto this hole right here. Look at that. Oh, and then the spring. Oh, I had it on the upside, but it needs to be on the bottom. Now there's a bolt that goes somewhere around here. Oh, the spring fell off. Okay, after a little, enough thing dangling, I finally got it off, or uh, back on, I should say. It probably would have been easier to take the engine off the tiller itself, but that would have been a lot more work, time consuming. So I just kept getting, there was three things you had to hold at the same time while trying to put a, a bolt in. So now I'm gonna try to assemble the carburetor onto the gas tank. And I'm a bit concerned because 
I don't quite understand how the gasket goes on, so I'm gonna have to sit here and try to twist it around enough to figure it out. So I figured it out. So instead of trying to line up the bolt holes, I found it easier to line up this circle, or what do you want to call that, with that. That just seemed easier. Once I got that lined up, all the bolt holes lined right up. So now we can set the new carburetor down on there. Okay, I got it lined up, so I'm going to screw it down. I'm not going to tighten them tight until I get the back side put on. I failed to put this linkage wire on. I should have put it on before the carburetor was attached. But fortunately, I think Briggs and Stratton saw that I was an idiot and designed it in a fashion that I could take this linkage uh, piece of plastic off and put it on. Because you gotta twist in order for it to get on there. But the problem is, is this is a long-winded bolt and there's only one way to get it in here like this sometimes I think I'm gonna get myself a rationing set of wrenches here's what I'll tell you all night last night I've been preparing myself for this ordeal it I knew it was gonna be something you're gonna to have to have a lot of patience for so I mean there's one two three Four linkages you got to all kind of get together all at once so when one would fall off I'd have to take it all off again and, and reassemble the whole thing and do it over and do it over I've probably done it I don't know maybe five or six times already but it is working so there's the choke right there and here's the throttle which And now that that's assembled, I can put the air filter housing on and that'll secure that up so I don't have to sit there and hold it. And then I'll put the muffler on. See, and you gotta watch every bolt. And when something doesn't make sense, you gotta figure out how to make it make sense. I just missed one, and I realized where it went. It was right here.
I got some Loctite on order. Should be here anytime. As soon as I get that, I'm going to re Loctite these nuts right or these bolts right here because in the past I, these had vibrated out and went down into the carburetor. So I made myself a little cage to put them in, you know, put over this hole here so they wouldn't bounce in there. But I'll just get some Loctite and redo this one. It, Here's that cage I made. I don't know how long that gas has been sitting there. Maybe a couple or oil, I should say, a couple years. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it. I think it's brand new, but I'm gonna change it anyways. And uh, I, I tilt some. It's, uh, I think I'm going to try to sell it. I think it's doing good. So, now this particular piece I, I've had, I bought it a few years ago when we were still gardening, and I, I, it was used. And I looked it up, the, it was made in the 90s, so it's got some life on it. So, but it's not smoking, it's, it's running, and it tills. So if you'll click this up next box, it'll take you to a video. Well, it's working on something, so I hope I can inspire you to buy a trade, so you can live your dreams. Thanks for watching.